Camera. Action. This is just one of the many scenes you are likely to see if you come to Broadstairs on the Kentish coast, a place where history meets the sunny sands. The first thing you notice about Broadstairs is its picturesque harbour. There's a special charm about the ancient pier and harbour which no lover of the sea or small boats can fail to appreciate. Quite an assortment of small boats sail from here, and if you feel like a sea trip or a spot of fishing, this is the place to come. Or if you just want to talk fishing, and there's always a friendly ear. And maybe the old story about the one that got away. You can be sure of comfort, excellent cuisine, and a warm welcome at the many guest houses and hotels. Accessible by steps or a lift, Viking Bay, situated beneath the main promenade, is the centre point of seven sandy bays along the four and a half miles of Broadstairs coastline. Each bay has its own individual atmosphere. This is Stone Bay. You can spend a quiet hour or two at Dumpton Bay, looking for shellfish or have hectic moments in spacious Joss Bay where masses of warm golden sands are particularly ideal for youngsters. Here in sandy bays, they can play to their heart's content. Gently now. I do hope you'll get out all right. A little further along the coastline, Botany Bay is particularly picturesque and very photogenic. Whether you're a professional, or amateur. Oh dear, father will be pleased. The great thing about Broadstairs is that there's always plenty going on for everyone. Swimming, boating, racing, donkey riding, or just watching Punch and Judy. It's all here, and plenty more coming up. This boy looks familiar. Now oh, it's nice to see Dad up and around again. If you have to keep an eye on your figure, then there's nothing like a trampoline to keep you in trim. Unless, of course, you're not too bothered and prefer to let nature take its course. Well, why not? After all, it is holiday time, and what nicer than to sit in a charming garden with the sea lapping at your feet. It's great to be young, but it's still great to be a little older. If all you want to do is sit and enjoy the wonderful air, there are plenty of places to do it. After all, Broadstairs is situated in what is probably one of the healthiest corners to be found in the whole of Great Britain. Well, I don't think you could wish to look much healthier than this. If you like exercise, though, then there's plenty of activities going on for you to join in.
Feeling a bit breathless? Right, let's take a gentle ride along to the horse show. Every year, Gymkhana and Horse Show is held, providing great interest to lovers of horses and horsemanship. A special event in the holiday season is the annual Water Gala, staged in the gardens and on the beach. The youngsters love to have a go at fancy dress. Now then, look where you're going. Whilst we can take part in something quite different. Hey, you up there, come on down and give us a hand. Oh, perhaps you'd rather not, but still it's fun to watch. Especially if it's the selection of Miss Broadstairs you're watching. The carnival is another highlight of the summer season, when gaily decorated floats parade through the streets. The parade has the reputation of being one of the most colourful offered by Kentish resorts. In the evening, from the carnival queens of a number of resorts, the carnival queen of queens is chosen by a well-known personality. Perhaps your interest lies in indoor entertainment. In which case, again, you'll certainly find something going on to your liking, from dancing of all kinds to some good-humoured family entertainment. When it comes to refreshment and food, and after all, what is a holiday without good food, there are a wide variety of cafes and restaurants to choose from. That lobster makes my mouth water. Afterwards, if you want to walk it off, there are many pleasant and invigorating walks to be enjoyed. Through the gardens, for example, which overlook the sea. Or a quiet evening stroll to the attractive old village of St Peter's. Or yet again, coupled with the tang of the sea, a long West Cliff promenade, which stretches from Viking Bay to Dumpton Bay. Within easy walking distance is Kingsgate, with its fine lighthouse, guiding shipping past the Goodwin Sands. Kingsgate is reputed to have derived its name from the landing there in 1683 of King Charles II. Typical Kent countryside and villages are close at hand and offer interesting day excursions. Coach trips also run regularly to Canterbury with its fine cathedral and to other points of interest along the Kentish coast. Broadstairs is in the heart of the famous Thanet holiday area, with many additional attractions close at hand. With its wonderfully healthy atmosphere, Broadstairs, in addition to being a holiday resort, is fast becoming more residential. Fine houses, bungalows and flats, Light industries, too, are springing up to take the influx of people choosing to live and work here. The main shopping centre has something of everything, and you will find all you need, whether you're a resident or a holidaymaker. The quaint side streets are very rewarding to those in search of novelty in their shopping. Charles Dickens spent much of his time in Broadstairs and there are many reminders of the novelist to be found. High on the cliffs, Bleak House overlooks the sea and Dickens' house also commands a fine position. Not unnaturally, the town is very proud of its connections with this great man and for a whole week, once a year, a Dickens festival is staged. Attracting people from home and abroad, this is the only annual Dickens festival held in Europe.
Connections with the past, Broadstairs remembers well, but it also believes in keeping up with modern trends, providing fun and laughter to its residents and summer holidaymakers. So if you feel like taking a holiday where there is always a little of everything, where you'll want to come back again and again, why don't you be like us? Take one. At Broadstairs, of course.